Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to import and export grid data from Enterprise One to Microsoft SharePoint sites using Microsoft Office 365 tools. Before you start importing or exporting grid data to Microsoft SharePoint, you must ensure that you have an account with Microsoft Azure Cloud. You must register a client application in Microsoft Azure Active Directory to enable the communication between Enterprise One and Microsoft SharePoint. And you must add the DigiCert Global Root G2 certificate to the JAS server. After the certificate is added, we will register the client application in Microsoft Azure Active Directory. An administrator or a user with administrator privileges for Microsoft Azure Active Directory can register the client application. In portal.azure.com, access Azure Active Directory. Navigate to App Registrations and open New Application Registration. New App Registration will provide a tenant ID and an application client ID. Additionally, you need to create a client secret. You will add the client ID and client secret later while creating the soft coding record in Enterprise One. Use an easily identifiable name, for example, JD SharePoint. Select accounts in this organizational directory only. Redirect URI is the endpoint at which your app will receive responses from the Microsoft Identity Platform. You can enter a value if your organization has a redirect URI or leave it blank. Now, let us create a client secret. Here, select the duration for which the client secret will be valid. You can use the recommended settings or define a custom value. Copy and save the populated secret string under value. This acts as the application password for the communication between Microsoft Azure Active Directory and Enterprise One. Grant the permissions for application, directory, files, and sites. You need administrator consent for all the permissions. If you have admin privileges, provide consent for all the permissions you added or request your administrator to grant access to the permissions. With tools release 9273, we have a soft coding template available in Enterprise One to enable communication between Enterprise One and Microsoft SharePoint. Now, let us create a soft coding record using the template. Access the soft coding records application P95-4000. Complete the fields as shown here. The access to folders available to import and export grid data to Microsoft SharePoint is based on the defined user or role. Enter SharePoint in the template name field and click Populate Soft Coding Value on the form. In the Soft Coding Value, add the tenant ID and application client ID that are generated after you register the application in Microsoft Azure Active Directory in place of directory or tenant ID and client ID respectively.
enter the client secret in the masked value field. After the soft coding record is created, we will check the functionality by importing and exporting the grid data to SharePoint site. Ensure you sign out and sign in again for the cloud storage option to be enabled. Let us first export the grid data to the configure SharePoint site. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll access an application with grid data. The cloud storage option will only be available after you have created a soft coding record. Select the option by which you want to export the grid data. This is the SharePoint location that we set in the soft coding record earlier. You can see that a new file is created in the public folder. Now, let us try the import option. Navigate the folders in the SharePoint location to locate the file you want to import. For more information on the feature, access the foundation guide on learnjd.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah.